Hi guys, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here, and tonight I am coming on to do something that we haven't done in quite a while. Let me just pull this up real quick on the computer, and that way when you hop on, I'd love it if you just say hi, tell me where you're watching from. I'd appreciate it. Here, let me tilt this up just a little bit to where it'll be out of the way, to where you can see what I'm doing there. All right. Um... Today, I'm going to do something, like I was saying, that we haven't done in, in quite a while. You know, it's it's springtime now, or basically, in just a couple of days, it's going to be springtime. And they've lifted the mask mandates here, basically, here in Cincinnati. We can, even the Cincinnati Public Schools lifted the mask mandates. So that means we're able to go out, we're able to enjoy a little bit more, a little bit more back to normal. And it's been a couple of years now since I've really... No, I forgot to turn off. Forgot to turn off those notifications again. I do that all the time, don't I? I'm sorry. Hey, Steve. Thanks for saying hi for me. I appreciate that. That way, I know I'm on the right page and that you guys can hear me. Anyway, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to make a door leaner, a door step leaner, with this long, thin rock right here that I can put up against the door, and I can turn it this way against my door step, or I could turn it this way against my door step. And if I do that. I'm going to end up adding a little bit underneath it right here to where it'll sit better. But I think right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this beautiful napkin on this. Well, actually, I guess what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to wipe this off. I didn't realize they hadn't dried yet. I uh, put some paint on it, I thought, about an hour ago, and it would be dry by now. Must have put a little bit of thick paint on this one. Got another one over here. I'm going to do a couple of different rocks. This one I have a really pretty napkin for. And for this little round one right here, I've got a pretty napkin for. I thought that that was a really pretty napkin. So I'm going to put this on the small rock right there. And then I've got this napkin right here that, as you can see, it has this long, pretty middle. And I thought that that would go perfect right here on this rock, right in this middle. I thought that would make a beautiful looking rock. And I can stand that up next to my door, and then I can take this smaller rock. My door has two side lights next to it, two tall windows next to my front door. So I have a, another small uh, rock that sits there that says, keep life simple. And I've got another one that's got like the, uh, the little truck with the uh, sunflowers and stuff on it. So I'm making another rock that I'm going to sit out by the door and another one put over on the little side light. So, and then I've got one more rock that I'm going to make. I found this great napkin, and I just thought that this was really cool. So this one I'm going to put out. I just want to get, make a couple of rocks, some to put out, some to put by the house. But I found this really cool napkin that says, I love my dog. Now, I know that's backwards to you, but it's I heart, and it says my dog inside of a little uh, bone. So, you know, I know so many people love their pet that putting out that would uh, definitely be something that someone, when they find it, they'll just love it and want to keep that too. So I'm going to take this right now for this one here, this big long one. I think I'm going to start with that. Or maybe I'll... Where is it wet at? Right here on the end. I think that's where it's wet. I'm trying to see where's the wet paint. Because it should be dry. Something's definitely wet because it's getting on me. Maybe it's this on the paper. Anyway, I'm going to take my scissors here. And I'm just going to cut out this pretty strip right down the middle here. I'm just going to cut it right on the seams, right down the middle. And I'm going to get out my Mod Podge. And I'm going to Mod Podge this onto the rock. And I think it's going to look really, really pretty. I'm going to get down a little further past the seam on this one, down to where this tan color ends. If you can see the difference. I, you probably can't from where you're at, but um, on the napkin you can see like a line where the tan color and the white color meet. So I'm just cutting across that line. Okay. There we go. 
Now, when you're making a napkin rock, you're going to have to take, there's always another layer to your napkin. Your napkin's usually just not a one layer napkin. Most, most napkins are at least two. I have found up to three and four different layers on the back of some napkins. Expensive napkins have more layers. But it doesn't have to be an expensive napkin to make a pretty rock at all. You can get your napkins from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they make pretty rocks. Sometimes it's hard to get them to peel. I can see it, though, if I can just get it to pull right here. There we go. I see it now. Just peel that off. Put that to the side for a moment. Going to sit this right here. Get my Mod Podge. See if I can open. Have super, super strength. <laughs> Get out of the way here. Move this over here. Okay. Now. I'm going to take this right here. Let me see. I'll take this brush right here. I'm going to use this in the Mod Podge. And I'm just going to put a nice layer of it on this rock. You want to get it while it's still wet. I'm going to put it on the sides because I want to do it over the edges. I'm spreading it kind of quickly. sure I get all the spots. I'm going to get a little more because I want it to be a pretty good layer of it here. Don't want to get too much though because then it'll get just, um, it'll make the napkin too easy to pull. Okay, I think that that looks pretty good. That looks like I've got pretty much on there. I'm going to take my napkin now. I'm just going to put it down real quick, about right here. And I'm just going to smooth it down with my hand. Just using my hands to press it down. Try to rub out all the wrinkles. Press it over the edge. Quite a few wrinkles right there, but that's all right. I'm just going to take my fingers and work them in. I'm going to have to put some more Mod Podge on the corner here. I'm just smoothing them down. It's making a very, very pretty rock. You got to be careful. Don't want to rip it up. I pulled a little spot on it right there. I'm not going to worry about it, though. It won't show from a distance. In fact, it doesn't even show up close. You have to really know where it is to see it. Of course I know where it is. <laughs> I see it. Okay. I'm just going to trim this off around the edge here because we don't need all of that on there. I'm going to tilt it up, get a little bit more, put it under this edge right there and just smooth it down. Put it under here. I'm just taking my brush and smoothing it down. Just using the Mod Podge as sort of as what it is. It's a sealer. I'm just using the Mod Podge as the sealer that it is by just pressing it on the top of the napkin area here to adhere it. Make sure it's adhered real well to the rock. All the way around these edges right here. Okay, how's this look up here? Here we got some over here that needs a little work on it, I can see. Get just a little bit more on there. And we're just taking it down the edge where the napkin is here. And when you see the napkin's not adhered to it, just go underneath it. And 
work it back down. Now we're going to trim a little piece off right there. There we go. Throw that right there. And give a little more. Not that much. <laughs> That's not a little. That's a whole big bunch. And I'm just going to go up underneath it right here. Bring it right back down and just not worry about the little bit of Mod Podge that's getting right there on the front of it. Let me just take my finger and slide that off. Now let me see underneath it here. What do we got going on? Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me show you what it's like over there on there. I just worked it all the way around the back. Look at this beautiful rock. I'm going to sit this by the front door. It's hard to hold right now. I'm going to sit this by the front door. Isn't that beautiful? That's a gorgeous napkin. Gorgeous napkin. I was thinking maybe I could sit it up like this. Maybe I'll take my paint and I'll write the word spring right down here on the front of it. Just set that right by the front door. And then maybe I won't put anything on it. Maybe I'm just going to leave it alone because it is such a pretty rock. I really like how it looks, just the way it looks. Okay, now let's work on this little rock that's going to accompany it. It's not the exact same napkin, but it is a very, very similar napkin. Another very pretty napkin that looks almost identical to it. Now, as you saw with the other one, it's not a full four square either. It's only a half one. The big one was only had only had one third of it. This one has one half of it. But I still think they're very, very pretty napkins. The pleasant surprise was when I found the I Love My Dog napkin. That was a pleasant surprise. All four squares. It's on all of it. So that'll make a whole bunch of really pretty rocks, really cool rocks for somebody. I think they'll like that. Okay, we've got this one ready here. I'm just going to take this and peel it. Try to peel it. Anyway, I'm going to try to. I'm moving over this way towards this light that's right next to me here so I can see better. There we go. Slap that off of the back of there. Press that down. I can see a little wrinkle popping up over here. I'm just going to take my fingers and press down on that a little bit. Press down on it a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to get me some more of this. Put me a nice, quick, thick layer right on the top of this rock. I'm ready for spring. Get back out and start doing some fun things. I know kids will be back at the park and they'll be looking for things. They'll find these rocks and they'll be so happy to find those. It's always fun. Now, this is a pretty napkin. I want to get this. Right in here. Just gonna rub it around with my fingers. Work it around this edge here. Pressing it in. Don't want to overwork it. And then I'm just going to take this and trim around the rock. That right there. Just like that. 
trying to make sure my fingers aren't going sticking too much. I can feel the wetness coming through from the rock. Sit it right on that. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to take this and work it around the back side of the rock real quick. And then I'm just going to literally take the brush itself and just start pulling it up over the edge when you pick it up off of here. And just clean it down as I go. Mm. Probably should have cut that just a little bit shorter, but that's okay. We'll just work it right there. Right around through there. All right, and then this one's on. Now, these are not going to be ready to be put outside like this. That's one thing about a napkin rock, is even though you think you got done with this point, this is just getting it adhered to the rock itself. You still have to seal this onto the rock. And for that, I would suggest that you use a Krylon spray or a Rust-Oleum spray. I get the clear acrylic sprays. That's what I use. Spray that on the top of it. Let it dry. Um, do another layer. Let that dry, and I mean let it dry for a little bit. Don't just give it like a 10-minute dry, because that, that really isn't enough. Let it dry for a little bit, you know, at least an hour, and then go out and give it another spray. Let that dry. Give it an overnight and maybe spray it, a, you know, a third time, and then they're pretty well sealed. Okay, let me see if I can get this to come apart. Yep, right there's a spot. All right, this is the last one and we're done. Last one and we're done. Okay, we're going to put this right there. I wanted to make sure I found a rock that was big enough to fit the whole. I love my dog. There we go. The paint still got wet on it. That's all right. I see where that's wet at. Right there. Right in that spot. There's not going to be much of this over the edge. Basically, this whole napkin is going to be right on the front of this rock. But we'll put it on the sides anyway, just in case. But whatever part of it does, touch the edge. Alrighty. I want the whole thing on the bottom right down here. Perfect. And very little of that will have to be Worked on the edges. Might kind of take my hand and do that right there. And right there, we just need to put a little bit on the side. Just going to take my finger and push it down. Super fast, super easy, super cute. And that, and an adorable rock. I love my dog. Somebody's going to be so happy when they find that. I'm just pressing down little air bubbles on it. And I can see a little spot where white paint got on my heart. And it's not completely red looking now. So once it dries, I'm just going to take my 
red marker and go over that. And then it'll be perfect. So there we have it. Three different rocks. This pretty napkin. This beautiful door leaning for my doorstep. I'm going to put those two out there. And then one for fun. Somebody's going to find a cute little. I love my dog. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Just another session with a little Mod Podge fun. I'll see you again on Saturday. Bye.